Hello and welcome to the course of advanced strength of material. Here uh, in the last class we have seen about principal plane and principal stress now and we have seen the equation for those. Now in this lecture we will be studying about we will be studying about uh, your we will be studying about Mohr circle method. Now in the Mohr circle method, let's start our lecture. So this is your fifteenth lecture of this course, and this uh, uh, for Mohr circle. So the transformation equation. That transformation equation means those equation we we have used in the last class in the last. A class those equation can be uh, used to um, equation for plane stress can be represented in graphical form that uh, graphical form is known as Mohr circle this graphical representation is very useful because it enables to visualize the re relationship between the normal and shear stress acting on various inclined plane at a point in a stressed body so we can have a graphical representation from the um, from the Mohr circle diagram using this Mohr circle diagram what we can do using this Mohr circle diagram we, you ca uh, we can also calculate the principal stress maximum shear stress and uh, stresses on the inclined plane everything can be calculated by using Mohr circle diagram Mohr circle is also valid for the strain and moment of inertia okay now Mohr circle is uh, why it is called Mohr circle because it is named after a uh, German uh, um, engineer that is Otto Christian Mohr and uh, this circle is developed in 1982 so these two equation we are familiar with these two equation that Sigma uh, x1 uh, sigma x1 minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 is equal to sigma uh, that is uh, we can write is uh, like this also major principal stress that is sigma uh, sigma we can write this sigma x1 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 theta tau xy uh, sin 2 theta and uh, for again for the tau xy tau xy tau x1 y1 can be written as minus sigma uh, minus sigma x plus sigma y by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau xy cos 2 theta now these two equation uh, from these two equation more circle can be derived uh, derived Mm, more circle from these two equation these two equations are transformation equation for plane stress from these two equation more circle can be derived so that's derivation how it is constructed that we will see so mm, the equation for more circle more circle is uh, the for equa the equation of the more circle should be uh, must be a equation of circle so for equ being an equation of circle what we can do we can say that sigma x1 minus sigma average whole square plus tau square x w tau x1 y1 square is equal to r square this equation this is the equation of the circle in standard algebraic form the coordinates are sigma x1 and tau xy uh, x1 y1 and the radius is r the center then the center of the um, circle has coordinates so what will be the center center of the circle has coordinate sigma x1 is equal to sigma average and tau x1 is, is equal to 0 so more circle from the previous equation can be either of so uh, if the equation is like this that uh, sigma x1 is equal to sigma average and tau x1 is equal to 0 then the more circle can be plotted from the previous equation either of two forms in the first form the more circle we plot the more circle plot the normal stress sigma uh, uh, in the first form 
the Mohr circle, the normal stress sigma x1 is positive uh, to the right, positive to the right, and the shear stress sigma uh, y1 is positive downwards. So see here for the first step. This is your sigma x1 for the first, this is your sigma x1 and this is tau x1 and this is tau x1. Now the advantage of plotting shear stress positive, uh, uh, shear stress positive downwards is that the angle 2 theta will be positive when counterclockwise and which agrees the positive direction of 2 theta. And secondly what we can do, we can, uh, we can plot tau xy as positive in upward direction but the 2 theta angle is now positive in clockwise which oppose the usual positive direction so the, what is written here that the angle the angle is calculated such as the the angle is calculated taken positive usually angle is taken positive when the uh, when the rotation is in the direct anti clockwise direction or counter clockwise direction now if we take tau x1 that is your shear stress in uh, shear stress positive in downward direction at that time that usual convection will be followed but if we if we take that um, uh, if we take shear stress tau uh, tau x1 y1 positive in upward direction that times what will occur the 2 theta angle will be um, will be rotated in or calculated counter positive counter uh, clockwise so that opposes the conventional uh, uh, con usual uh, convention and that's why what we take we uh, try to take the first principle or first uh, uh, form so both the form can be used but it is easier to visualize the operation of stress uh, element if the positive direction of the angle 2 theta is same with the Mohr circle as it is as, as it for the element itself therefore we will choose the first form of Mohr circle over the second one so now uh, construction of the Mohr circle so Mohr circle can be constructed in various of ways depending upon which stress are known which are to be found so let us assume first that our uh, known stress are sigma x sigma y and tau xy are our known stress and that are uh, acting on the xy plane of the element for uh, uh, xy plane of the element for example here see here in this figure in this figure so we know that uh, in plane a and b I, I, uh, in the phase a and b uh, the forces what are the forces acting in the uh, a and b so here see sigma x is acting here to mutually perpendicular plane sigma x here sigma y is acting here uh, sigma y is acting and tau xy is also acting see tau xy is also acting now what we need to do we need to uh, uh, we need to the uh, so the, from these three the, we can construct a uh, circle then we can draw the then the circle then the circle uh, then with the circle drawn we can determine the stresses sigma x1 y1 and tau x1 acting on an inclined element that is here so first what is uh, doing what we are doing here we need to find out the uh, stress at an inclined plane right so now for finding out the stress at an inclined plane first what we are doing we are we are creating a Mohr circle using the information that is presented uh, the, or that is given to us in a normal condition so from this condition we can uh, found the value of sigma x sigma y and tau xy from here we construct a circle that is Mohr circle and after from this circle we can found the find the values of uh, this uh, tau 
this sigma x1 tau x1 y1 uh, and y uh, sigma y1 so all these three values all these three values can be found out from the Mohr circle which is uh, a Mohr circle and these three values are acting on the inclined plane so forces on the stresses on the inclined plane can easily be found from the Mohr circle diagram so here the construction of the Mohr circle diagram is uh, shown that so first what we will do we, we know the value of sigma x right so for uh, as we know the value of sigma x uh, first what we will do we will take the uh, we will take the uh, average that is sigma average so first we take the average and from the uh, from the edge we just uh, uh, point the average point that is c and after the the c point at that c point we just put we just we just plot the value tau x we just plot the value tau x and after plotting the ta tau x So uh, let's uh, see how to draw uh, uh, now the procedure of construction. Now the procedure of construction we will see the procedure of constructing Mohr circle. So first what we need to do draw a set of coordinate axis. Uh, the, we have to draw a set of coordinate axis with sigma x1 as abscissa that means uh, this side is sigma x1 so first we need, what we need to do we need to draw a axis that is sigma x1 as abscissa that is this is sigma x1 and uh, uh, that is positive to the right and tau x1 that is positively downwards this is our tau x1 tau x1 y1 now locate the center locate the center of the circle uh, at a point having coordinate say, uh, uh, sigma x1 uh, is equal to sigma average now sigma average is nothing but sigma x plus sigma y by 2 so this sigma x plus sigma y by 2 value sigma uh, sigma average is nothing but sigma x plus sigma y by 2 we know the value of sigma x and sigma y sigma y by 2 so just put the uh, uh, next we have to put the value c this is our say c well the center is mainly sigma x uh, sigma average sigma average comma tau value will be tau x1 y1 value will be zero so this equation this equation uh, this condition or this equation we have found from here see tau x1 the circle uh, r center of the circles and the circle has the coordinate of sigma x1 is equal to sigma average and tau x1 is uh, y1 is equal to zero so from that we can write uh, we can uh, we uh, now from uh, till now we got what value we got the position of the seed Man means this position is known this position is known and this abscissa this ab uh, this axis these two axis is already known now we what we will do we will uh, now what we will do we will lo locate a point a so we will locate a point a representing the stress we will locate a point a which represent the stress uh, stress condition on x phase stress condition on x phase of the element shown in figure a so uh, this stress condition sigma x uh, we will be uh, sh showing so uh, 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 by plotting its coordinate how how we will show uh, that by plotting its coordinate sigma x1 is equal to sigma x and tau x1 is equal to tau x uh, x1 y1 is equal to tau x y so what we will do 
at point A. Uh, we will try to uh, uh, this value. This value will be at point A. This here, the value, uh, the coordinate of the point A is sigma x, comma tau x one uh, tau x y. So uh, this value, this this value is tau x y. See this value is tau x y, and this value is here. See here this value is sigma x. So we can plot this. After that, note that the point on the circle corresponds to theta is equal to zero. Here the a point have theta is equal to zero. Why? Because uh, see here sigma x is in the x space. So uh, note that the x space of the element is labeled uh, is labeled a. Is labeled as to show its correspondence with point A. So that's why see here's the point name A. So that's why the this phase is uh, denoted as A. Now similarly, similarly, what we will do? We will next find the value of uh, value of B phase. That means we will find the value of sigma y. We will plot the value of sigma y. So the coordinate will be sigma y into tau x y uh, minus tau x y. So see, this is minus tau x y, and this is your sigma b uh, sigma b uh, sigma y. So uh, we plot this, and we just join these two lines. We just join this a b line, and uh, from the center, from the center, from the center, just uh, take the radius. Uh, take the radius, uh, take the diameter uh, from the center. Create a circle from the C point. Create a uh, centering the C point. This uh, C point will be the center. And by taking this as center, uh, and take AB by taking and by taking AB as diameter, we can draw a circle. And that circle will be our uh, that circle will be our more circle. Okay. So uh, uh, that circle will be our more circle. Now this more circle, uh, this more circle uh, from this more circle, we can what we can found, we can find that uh, uh, that. So uh, using the point C center more circle uh, drawn in radius R. Okay, so from here we can find the Mohr circle. So from this Mohr circle, what we can do? We can find any other values because so this a point a point is represent theta is equal to zero, while b point is represented theta is equal to ninety. So if we, we if we move this by two theta angle, if we move this by two theta angle, the uh, the value of d will be theta. And uh, this d that uh, will be 90 plus theta. So similarly, changes changes will be happening, and we can find uh, uh, we can find the angle at angle. Uh, we can find that the, the find the stresses, principal stresses at each and every angle, each and every inclined angle. So. That is the importance for Mohr circle. So here an example is given at a point. See here an example is given at a point on the surface of a pressurized cylinder. The metal is subject material is subjected to biaxial uh, stresses. That is sigma x is equal to 90 megapascal. And sigma y is equal to 20 megapascal. So uh, as shown in the figure. So here see in the figure sigma x is 90, sigma y is 20. So uh, 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 using the Mohr circle, determine the stresses acting on the element inclined at 30 degrees. So we have to find out the 30 degree. Uh, ang uh, uh, we have to find out the uh, value at 30 degree angles or stresses value. At 30 degree angle uh, inclined plane, and uh, consider only the in plane stresses and uh, show the results. 
sketch uh, properly oriented element so for the uh, for the drawing for the drawing what we need to do here tau xy is zero okay so first we need to create first we need to create an abscissa where the abscissa we, we have created already see here in this figure so first we have created this abscissa sigma one so i am drawing it again here okay just just see so first we just create an abscissa sigma x1 and in this sigma x1 we take the value of uh, we take the value of uh, average that is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 that is 90 plus uh, 20 that is your uh, 110 that means 55 will be your average so this value this value point c this point c value will have 55 comma 0 this point c will have 55 comma 0 now now what we will do now we will plot the value of sigma x and sigma y so sigma x will be plotted on the side you see here the 55 is given 55 is given now sigma x is plotted uh, on the sigma x1 axis so sigma in the sigma x1 axis the value of sigma x is 90 so this is 55 this will be your 90 90 comma 0 why uh, this is 90 comma 0 because tau uh, tau x1 y1 or tau x y value is 0 so this is 90 comma 0 again here uh, we have to take 20 so 20 is here 20 comma 0 now calculate one thing now calculate one thing 20 minus 55 how much it is 20 minus 55 that means this side it will be 35 and 90 minus 55 how much it is 90 minus 55 this is also this is also 35 so we can draw now from this center we can draw a circle now from this center we can draw a circle of radius 35 m 35 so if we draw it we we got the we got the more circle diagram now by using it now what we will do now we will uh, uh, for angle that is theta we have to move the angle as to theta that means 60 degree so this is uh, this a point is at 0 degree now we have we move this a at 60 degree by moving it we get the value d and d theta at d at d this coordinate this coordinate and this coordinate these are the two coordinates so from these two coordinates what we can get we can get the two values that is sigma x1 sigma x1 sigma x2 or sigma y1 and tau x1 y1 from these two points those three value can be found so so how much will be the sigma x1 the sigma x1 value will be the sigma x1 value will be your 72.5 and tau x1 value will be 30.3 now uh, how much will be the value of uh, how much will be the value of your um, sigma x2 that will be the value here somewhat here the, if we calculate the value here we can easily find out the value of sigma x uh, y1 also so see uh, here the solution one by one solution is given in detail so first the, we have to find out the sigma average that will be our center that is 55 megapascal we have uh, taken next 
we, we just plot those two values that is 90 megapascal and 20 megapascal and after that uh, we got the res uh, we got the uh, mm, mm, from the equation we got the radius as 35 radius as 35 megapascal and sigma 1 sigma 1 and uh, sigma x1 will be 72.5 megapascal uh, and uh, we can directly calculate from this this from the graph okay so uh, that calculation i will be showing in uh, the live class and uh, uh, tau xy is also calculated can be can be calculated from here and now uh, sigma x uh, uh, that is sigma x1 now this value this value is 30 point uh, this value is 37.5 megapascal this is also can be calculated and in detail calculation we will be showing in the uh, uh, in the live class so this this is the solution for your uh, problem this is the for solution for your problem at 30 degree inclination thank you hope you enjoy this lecture and if you have any problem regarding more circle you may ask in the live class thank you